<clears throat> wow, it's NXT. Who would have thought that I would be booking it? That's awesome. Okay, so. Little commentator shake up for, for a little bit. See what happens. Uh, I didn't really do anything off screen. I'll figure out what I'm doing with my stories in a little bit. I'll just, I'll start the show and, and, you know, see what's going on. I have a few ideas. I do, I do. King Poppy Sanchez drew people cartoon style. That's awesome. You want to be friends with people, King Poppy Sanchez? Not Bundy. Leo Kruger? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, it's level up. I gotta just job some people out real quick. I mean, Bam Neely's retiring, so I might as well get him. You know, I like I like to get the people retiring on the show. I do. Oh, Buff Bagwell. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. How's how are you been doing, Buff? Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, and another new person. Okay. Well, I'm definitely taking you and uh, Thunder Kitty. Teresa Cell. Holy shit! New people. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, one second. I'm I'm very happy to have these new people, but I gotta figure out what to do with them. I guess, uh, I guess Exana and Brooke would be good opponents for them. Or Exana and Penelope, actually. I should have them be a team, Exxon and Penelope. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then I'll have them fight Thunder Kitty and Teresa Cell. Sounds great. I, I can't tell who you are. Again, I'm terrible at faces, but I know I know her. Oh my god, Jimmy Rave? Whoa! My pool has gotten a lot nicer. Okay. Well, first of all, Justin, not you, you are Bam Neely. Oops. Not like that. Oh, because it's this one, right, right. I remember now, I remember now. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's grab a couple more people. Let's grab Nick Dinsmore. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. Anyone else? Shane Sewell! Oh my god. He's the greatest ref in history. I could I could take him to ref for one night. That's Great. Yeah, give me Shane Sewell. Oh, is this because Wildcat went out of business, so their roster are free agents now. Wait, Brian Knobs? Oh my god, both nasty boys. But you're retiring? When are you retiring? June, July, August. Oh god, you're retiring real soon. Okay. We're going crazy this show. We're going crazy. Give me um give me the believers against the nasty boys, I guess. Cuz I want to do something with the nasty boys at least, at least. Do a little bit with them. I want I want to use all these people at least a little bit. You know? 
I want a sweet five count match with, um, I guess I don't need a five count match. Hold on. Maybe I'll just do multi-man matches to fit all these people because I really want to use all these people. Um, Exana and Carwin against Thunder Kitty and Teresa Cell. Hey, Teresa Cell, how's your selling? Okay, it seems pretty good. It seems like pretty good selling. That's all I ask for. Yeah, give Exana that win. That can go pretty quick. I have two more Bam Neely, Adam Thornstow. I could grab one more. I'm thinking Eugene, but Jimmy Rave. Ooh, who's Gilbert Dale? Oh my god, it's Bill Eady. <laughs> That's funny, it's Bill Eady. Okay, okay. So, I gotta take Jimmy Rave, and I'm gonna do the squad against the other squad, Roman, Jay, and Jimmy, Uso, not Rave. Very important difference. Uh, Roman Reigns is going to pin Bam Neely because Bam's retiring, so might as well uh, give him the loss. Decisive pinfall. And these don't need to be long matches at all. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do some promos for them as well to get them all, you know, that experience, that sweet, sweet experience. Uh, Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Roman. And I think Bloodline should go on last because they are very experienced. I think you should go on second. Give you an Exana and Carwin promo. Uh, this one can only go two minutes. And then a Believers promo. Which is Derek Bateman and Wes Briscoe. For three minutes. You know, give everyone some sweet experience. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right, Believers promo, Believers match. Nasty boys don't have great chemistry or anything. I I mean, I guess I'm not that surprised. <laughs> Exana and Carwin, uh, they defeat Thunder Kitty and Cell. Thunder Kitty and Cell did not do great. How are they doing? Okay, okay. So, inexperienced and inconsistent. That's fine. Exana and Penelope are dealing with the same thing, really. Bloodline promo, which was pretty solid. And then Bloodline match. Jimmy Rave, doing a great job, really. Good job. Good job, Jimmy Rave. Did I hire Shane Sewell and just have him ref? Wait, hold on. I did. That's funny. I didn't even mean to. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am okay with that. So I want to do a match. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's between Kevin Nash and Biggie Langston. That's right. They're running it back from their Judgment Day match. Give them like seven minutes. And uh, Nash is winning. Actually, and it's going to be an open match. They're both going to get a lot of offense, and Nash is going to look a lot stronger than he did in the last match. I forgot he can't go. So Nash is going to look a lot stronger. I'm also going to do an angle for that, where Kevin Nash challenges Big E to a rematch. 
he accepts Piggy, Kevin Nash, King Kong Bundy. You can be menace, you can be entertainment, you can be entertainment, you don't want to be scripted. Give that some good time. Um... Checking what's going on. Right, right. I remember what I wanted to do with that. Okay. I kind of want to do a battle royal. Please fix yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of want to do a battle royal. Let me see who I would have for that. I would want Brad Attitude in it. Uh, Bo just lost his title, which is interesting. Chris Logan could be in it. Chad Parham. Dexter Loomis. Jinder Mahal. King Poppy Sanchez. Lucky Cannon. Richie Steamboat. Roman Reigns. That's too many people. Hold on, hold on. Riley Pierce, Shane Douglas, okay, okay, maybe 15, maybe 15, I think 15 could be good, because, okay, let's go over this, Bo Dallas, Brad Attitude, Chad Parham, Dexter Loomis, Jinder Mahal, King Poppy Sanchez, Chris Logan, Lucky Cannon, Richie Steamboat, Roman Reigns, Tamina Snuka, uh, uh, Briley Pierce, Leo Kruger, Douglas Camacho? Yeah, I think that looks good. How long can you go with Shane Douglas being in there? Okay, good. <laughs> he doesn't have to last very long, don't worry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Eddie Kingston is going to start out the show. And he basically says, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody has what it takes to beat me. And, uh, King Poppy Sanchez, I, I actually, I got a lot of respect for you after our last match. You know, we, we actually seem to, you, you actually seem to bring me, uh, pretty far. You, 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 you fought hard and I think you were my greatest challenger yet. But it wasn't enough for me. It wasn't enough. I want more. So I am issuing a battle royal. A 15 man battle royal at the end of the show. And I will handpick the competitors based on who I think could possibly earn a shot to face me. Who could deserve it. And then Tamina's music hits. And she goes, I want in the Battle Royal. And he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would I put you in the Battle Royal? It's, it's, a, it's a men's Battle Royal. It's a different division. What makes you think you would even have a chance to fight me? And then... She goes, I've beat everyone in the women's division. I've done everything there is. I've won every title. I want to do the same with the men's division. And he goes, you know what? You're right. You are the most dominant in the women's division. And I think you can fuck those guys up. You're in. You're in. Go for it. 
here's your shot. And let me see how Tamina's doing. Thirty five match wise, uh, twenty eight popularity wise. Is that going down? Yeah, a little going down. It was it was at thirty four at its peak. How's AJ Lee going? Okay, so she's getting back up to her peak pretty much. She's been that she's gotten there. Okay, okay. That is fine. That is fine. Camacho in the yellows, which is good. So this match is not just people who he thinks is worthy, like he said. He's trying to stir up some shit by putting people in there like Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce, by putting in Brad Attitude, by putting in Tamina. Um, by putting in all of the pimps. You know, there's a lot of shit stirring that he's doing as a result of this. It's not entirely just to find a competitor. And, um, I'm trying to think of who I want the winner to be. Because I have a few ideas. Uh, who have you defended against? Cannon, Mahal, Steamboat, Loomis, Sanchez. Okay, okay. I want it to be... I think I want it to be Chad. Ugh. No, no, I want it to be Lucky. I want it to be Lucky. Who is in the uh, chamber? It was Chris Logan, Lucky Cannon, Chad Palm, Dexter Loomis, Jinder Mahal. Dexter Loomis, Jinder Mahal, Lucky Cannon. So Chris Logan and Chad Palm are the only two he hasn't faced solo from that. Yeah, I want I want Lucky Cannon to win that. Uh, Tamina is going to eliminate Brad Attitude, and he's going to eliminate her in turn. So I'm going to end this and add new storyline. Tamina the Man is what I'm going to call this, and it's going to have Tamina and Brad Attitude for now. It's going to have Tamina for now. Gonna have Teresa so <laughs> what's what's Tamina busy doing? All oh, right, and and storyline. It's gonna have Tamina, and it's gonna have Brad attitude. Sounds like a good one to me. And then after Tamina eliminates attitude. Attitude runs in the ring as people have Tamina up, and he is the one to get her out as well. And then they fight and brawl on the outside. Uh, I'd like to set up some more from this. Um... So Bo and Pierce are going to go after Logan. Skinner's going to do some shit at ringside to stop them as well. But... Have I really done how how much have I done with um let's say Tavita Fafita? None. Okay, yeah. Wait, no, that's Brad Attitude. That's not who I meant to do. Also involving Tavita Fafita. Mm. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, because I want to continue that a little. I do. Um, so the, he's not champ anymore, but I'm going to kind of continue this storyline by having them go after each other. Add in uh, King Poppy Sanchez to this story, even. What's he doing right now? That's right now. He should be... I'm going to put Lucky Cannon and Chad Parham in this. And then I'm going to put King Puppy Sanchez in this. Not King Kong Bundy. Right, that's all there. I'm going to have the Wyatts at ringside kind of cheating a little bit. I'm going to have uh, Percy Watson and Titus O'Neil cheating a little bit. You know, a lot of people at ringside cheating for them. Runner-up should be... Um... I'm going to make it Bo Dallas. I think that'd be fun. Most eliminations I'm going to give to Roman Reigns. Make him look real strong. Finalists. I'm going to have Briley Pierce and Chad Parham against... Bo and Briley as the the end of it basically and I'll throw in uh I'll throw in Rowan Reigns as well. He can be like fifth to last out. I think that sounds nice. Now, that gets a lot of people on the show. Let me, let me see who I got tag team wise, because I have an idea for a match I want to do. Let's do Eddie Kingston and Police Academy against Tommy Goon. I think that sounds fun. How much have I done with you guys in Police Academy? Also involving Rashad Goff. Okay, I, I've done a fair bit. To be fair, I've done I've done a fair bit. Okay. And uh, this, I'd I'd like it to be like. Conrad Tanner goes over Tommy Mercer. And this is going to come from... Finally got Adam Copeland to agree to lose the ROH title to Lance Storm. Wow, very proud. Hi, Ryan, by the way. So there's going to be an angle where Tommy Goon demand to be in the Battle Royal that Eddie Kingston is casting and they attack him and, um, you know, the, the force come and save him and they make a match out of it. They save them because they're vigilantes, not because they have any sort of allegiance with Kingston. Uh, Sid gets off commentary for this one. <laughs> uh, Eddie wants to work without a script. Uh, fine, but the other people won't do that well without one. This higher.
I want to do something with the women. What are what's going on with them? Right, I was doing Brooke AJ. That's one thing I was doing. Once Copeland loses, that will open for him for a feud with Eddie Guerrero. Oh, that sounds awesome. Very, very awesome. Oh, right. Sage Beckett's kind of alone now. Okay. I I know what I want. So, Brooke is going to say that's bullshit. How her title defense happened. And she's going to demand a rematch. And AJ and Maxine are going to blow her off. But then Sage comes out and she's like, why would you get a rematch? I haven't got a match. I obviously am in line for the title. And uh this this turns into a a match. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Tom Pritchard. Uh no, I'm not, I'm not. Never mind. This turns into a match, and then that will be AJ Lee and Maxine Perez against Sage Beckett and Queen Maxine or Queen Brooke, I mean. And Beckett and Maxine, or Beckett and Brooke, are basically going to try to prove their worth in this match. Just to, to see if they got what it takes to get a title shot. I'm going to have Maxine beat Sage. Again, by exploiting her rib injury. That being a storytelling match. And uh, that that will pay off later. I'm going to add to that storyline Sage Beckett. Um, I guess I'll add a new storyline with Chris Logan and Skinner. And, um... Chris Hunter, or Chris, Chris Logan, not Chris Hunter, but Chris Hunter would be a good name for him, actually. Chris Logan, North American champion. And I'll do something with that eventually as well. Um, is there anyone I could get out of this looking good to fight him? There's a lot of heels in this match is the thing. A lot of heels and... Him and Kruger will obviously resume their feud a bit in this, but that's not going to be who it really goes to. Maybe Steamboat. I would like Steamboat. Let's end Steamboat Mahal. And maybe, just maybe, put Steamboat in here. I think that would be a good place for him. You know, that could be fun. Uh... I want to do... Let me do Naomi, actually. Naomi... No, I'm going to do a three on three. Jillian, Rachel, and Naomi against Christy Ricci, Jenny Cash, and uh, let's go Penelope Carwin. Yeah. And we're going to have Naomi pin Carwin. Don't give any closure between the actual teams. I can go like seven minutes. Not not a big deal there. I just want them in a match mostly. Um, I also I think it'd be cool to do Police Academy against the Nasty Boys a little. Because I have them. 
and they're about to retire. You know, put over uh, Police Academy a little. This works. It's a pretty match-heavy show, but I, I do like it. All right, so I kind of want this up here. Uh, Tommy Goon Angle, I would like earlier. Kingston opens the show, and then I could have a Tommy Goon Angle right after this. Uh, this, mm, maybe this would be better. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then I'm currently almost six years into the file. I think my current goal is to make it to the 10 year mark, 2013. That's, that sounds awesome. I, I love that. Love a good long save like that. That's kind of the longest I've ever done. It was like six years. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe this actually should go here. This should go here. No, I don't, I don't like that either, though. This here is better, right, right. And then this here is good. This here is good. Okay. I like this better. I like this better. This is how I'm going to format it. Yeah, let's go with this. Uh, Eddie Kingston opens the show. Tamina wants in the match. 50. Segment rating of 50. Holy shit. Good job. Good job. Police Academy defeat the Nasty Boys. Police Academy putting on some fantastic ratings, really. Uh, big, big Tommy Goon angle. Yeah, I figured you would, you would struggle with the script thing, but that's okay. Rosebud's match. Carwin was the weak link, as expected. But, you know, it, it was fine. Uh, that angle. This match. Eddie Kingston with the 57, holy shit, 46 segment rating, that's so good. Hopefully he teaches those guys how to work. AJ Lee doing a great job in this match. One day I'll get a tag team with good chemistry, that'd be fun. That'd be a novel concept. Uh, Big E Nash rematch, it was pretty good. And uh, their their match was pretty good as well, all things considered. Nash put in a 47. Good job, Nash. Good job. Very good job. And I'm hoping Big E comes out of this well. Oh, 52. Very nice. Very nice, 52. Lot of stories advancing with that one. Lot of stories. A lot going on in general in that. Couple, couple people being penalized, but otherwise, Camacho's not a very good baby face. That's interesting. I don't think I've realized that. Camacho is a hundred percent a heel. Very interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should turn him. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. He's been wrestling as a face this whole time. <laughs> How's Biggie doing after that? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It only helped him, really. It only helped him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the next show. I'm going to grab some water.
The longest before this spell for me was maybe two years. I realized that I function better with smaller companies rather than starting as WWE or AEW. Yeah, I, I also generally function better as small as com smaller companies, despite my longest run being a WWE run where I hired a ton of people. Right, I was signing Rikishi. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. I'd like you to be a manager, please. And he's mostly here to manage the Usos, but he can be in matches if he needs to be sort of an occasional wrestler role. Because I wanted it to be Sika, but Sika said no. Sika said he was busy retiring. So I'm going to add him to that. And I don't, I don't love the picture. Do we have a better one? Maybe that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. That's better. Okay, okay. Continuing simming, continuing. I think I'll be fine if I build ROH to a global company, mostly because, because, huh? Becca and the one one? I don't know what that means. Jerry Sags and Bam Neely have both retired. Booker T has also retired. Because it'll be on my terms. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Skinner doing some great work training my roster. All right, so I have set it up so Eddie Kingston's next opponent is Lucky Cannon. Got it. I'm gonna gonna check who I have. There's Buff Bagwell, who I have plans for. Are you retiring yet? No, you're not good. Rock, of course, Ernest Swick, who I'll be able to use soon. Definitely want you. That's good. Okay. I, I guess I'll take you as well. Mm -hmm. 
and do a, a Eugene Biggie match. Eugene answers the five count challenge. I don't want him to do his character shit. <laughs> Not a fan. Then I would want two more. Give me Milo Beasley and Give me Shane Sewell. I do think doing a B-show was a mistake, but I'm going to ride it out until the end of my deal to avoid legal fees. You know, we just, like, auto-book a B-show, you know? <laughs> it don't matter what you do with the B-show. You can do whatever you want with the B-show. And I want the women on the show as well. So give me Thunder Kitty and Teresa Sell and um, Christina Vanieri. And I want them to go against Jillian, Rachel, and Naomi. I could, but I don't like my B shows being so much worse than my A show. Well, that's why it's a B show. <laughs> and I'll give Naomi the win over... Thunder Kitty. And that gives me uh, not a ton of time. I think this this time works because I want Jimmy, Jay, Roman and Rikishi. I want them to cut a promo. And uh, this this will be the main event. And I want a Rose Pots promo with Jillian, Rachel, and Naomi. All right, Eugene Biggie. Oh my god, Eugene did so well there. Good good for him. Rosebud's angle. Rosebud's defeat them. They were not great. Bloodline angle. They did pretty well. This match, not great. Okay. Hmm.
All right, so it's Lucky Cannon who got the title shot. And Bo and Briley who were runners up. I'm going to have... Christina Von Eer is one of the people I always blacklist. She left a bad taste in my mouth after she made a little kid cry because they didn't have money for a picture back at a 2CW show in 2013. That is extremely specific. That's funny. Um... So, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I wanted to do Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce against Chad Parham and Lucky Cannon, which I've, I've done a little bit there, but, right, I want to do a, a match between these two teams. Give me Chad. Uh, no, give me Lucky. I keep wanting to give Chad the, the rub, but I don't think it's time. I don't think it's time. Give me Cannon beats Pierce. Yeah. Continuing their, their beef from the, the Battle Royal. And then I'll add an angle as well. Um, and it's going to be Eddie Kingston basically talking about fighting Lucky Cannon. And then Bo Dallas and Bradley Pierce are going to come out. And they're going to talk about how they're going to fight. And and Kingston's going to be like, what are you talking about? We're going to fight, huh? You lost. And he's like, you know, the Battle Royal? Um, it's It's the match, me and you. And he's like, no, what are you talking about? So Lucky Cannon and Chad Parham come out, and they're like, don't worry, Eddie, we'll deal with this. Uh, we'll fight you, Bo. And uh, that's that's how that match gets booked. I know you want to work without a script, but nobody else knows how. <laughs> uh, is that overusing anyone? Yes, it is. I figured, I figured. Okay, okay, okay. I want to do Biggie versus Kevin Nash. Stop me if you've heard this one before. And uh, Biggie gets the win this time. And again, I don't know how much Nash will let him do. Let's protect him. Nope. Okay. So we'll just we'll just leave it like this. I won't have Biggie dominate or anything. I'll have it be open. But I think this is the way to go. And then I'll have another angle. And uh Biggie calls out Nash once. A final match to settle it. Because they're both one for one. He wants a final match. Biggie and, and and Nash accepts. And that is where that match comes from. Right? The no script thing. I know, I know, I know. Then I would like after that match, um, Eddie Kingston comes out, and he goes, you know, I know you got all this respect for Biggie, but I don't got that kind of respect for you. And I know Biggie's got respect for you back, but it's just it's not mutual, man. You're a you're a husband who keeps who keeps coming back to fight these these young up and comers and it's 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 stupid and I'm over it and I wanna be the one to retire you. And Biggie's like, Don't do it, Nash, don't do it and Nash is like, 
you want to retire me? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, well, I'll give you the chance on one condition. And he's like, name it, whatever you want. And he goes, I want your title. And he goes, fine. Uh, you, you, you can have my title if you can beat me. And uh, that's scheduled for next week, title versus career. Um, yeah, yeah, put this here. That's good. So I want Tamina to cut a promo. And it's going to be about Brad Attitude. And it's going to be like, what the hell? I was going to win that battle royal, but somebody came in after I eliminated them and threw me out as bullshit. And I should be getting a title shot. And Brad Attitude comes out and he's like, is this a joke? You're a woman. Why would you get men's title shot it doesn't make sense you're not in our league and she's like you i'm sorry what and he goes you're not in our league and then she fucking puts him in the samoan stretch and um he's freaking out and uh refs and road agents pull him off and and he's like gasping for air it's fucked up it's awesome Definitely a success for Tamina and a failure for Attitude, defeat for Attitude. Uh... Wow, this match had a, a 48. That's pretty good. That's all uh, Police Academy, too. Putting in work. Where's that battle royal rank? Number six. Very good. Very good. Okay, okay. So, I'm doing AJ versus Brooke. Right, and they had that match where Sage lost because of the uh, injury. So, I'm going to have a Sage promo where she's like, she's basically whining. She's like, that's not fair. I have I've broken ribs. I'm injured and and they've been exploiting that to beat me. I would win these matches otherwise. And uh Brooke comes out and Brooke is like like so, you know, so what if you you say what could have happened that didn't happen? You wrestled in the match knowing you had that injury. What are you talking about? I think I need to reshape the women I have on my roster, even though I run an integrated product. You know, you do you, you do you. And so basically, Brooke's like, you knew what you were getting into, whatever. And she's like, you know, the doctor said I'll be cleared without an injury in a, in two weeks. And, and she goes, so... You know, like, who who freaking cares? And then AJ and Maxine come out. And they they basically say, you know, let's hear her out. Come on. Come on, Brooke. Let's hear her out. Yeah, let's have... Let's give her a go. Come on. Let her recover. You know, basically mocking her. They want her in a match with Sage right before the show. And so they basically say, yeah, yeah, I, I want you to fight Sage uh, the match the, the, the week before the pay-per-view, you know, a few days before the pay-per-view. That sounds, 
Sounds great. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, what else is going on? I was doing stuff in this battle royal. Oh yeah. I remember now. I was going to do Chris Logan, Richie Steamboat. Okay, okay. Oh, and I also wanted to run the new title. I want a trio's title. Here, let's do that. Let's have Tom Pritchard comes out. And he announces a new title. He announces trio's titles. And Richie Steamboat comes out and he goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> and Pritchard's like, excuse me? What do you mean? What am I talking about? I'm talking about there's new trio's titles. And he's like, no, what happened to, what happened to Steve Kern? What happened to Steve freaking Kern? And he's like, I, he's gone, man. He's gone. And he's like, no, he's not gone. He's over here screwing me in the battle royal. With his new pet, Chris Logan. What's with that? And then Tom Pritchard goes, You just, you don't have any control over Skinner. Skinner's a different beast. That's not Steve. That's not Steve. That's Skinner. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then Skinner comes out with Chris Logan and cuts a crazy fucking promo where they're like, you know, you best not mess with business you don't belong in. And he's like, what are you talking about? What What's going on, Steve? And then he's like, I don't know who Steve is. I'm not Steve. And then, and then Chris Logan, like, runs at him and, and um, and attacks him. And that's kind of how that ends. There's some, some weird shit going on there. But he announces trios titles, which I want to. Mm. So there's the Wyatts, there's Tommy Goon, there's the Bloodline, and there's. Well, I guess there's also the Pimps. Yeah, okay. Okay. So. Who was I doing pimps with? I was doing pimps with Bo Dallas, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. Okay. So I'll do I'll do a tournament for those at the next couple shows, and those will kind of be the teams in them. Or actually, I should do one at this show. I should do one at this show because I I got a lot of time left. So I want to do, I want it to be the Bloodline versus, I guess, the Wyatts. So give me Tommy Goon. Oh, I got to plug in my laptop because it wasn't plugged in. There we go. That's good. That's good. So, Tommy Goon against the Bloodline, who are now debuting with uh, Rikishi as their manager. And I'm giving the Bloodline the win in this one. After, uh, let's have, let's have Jey Uso, no, let's have Jey Uso pin Tommy Gray. That sounds good. That's great. Um, 
I need a storytelling match. I'll I'll deal with that. Let's grab a some some women. I, I would like a women's match. Mm -hmm. This isn't a very uh, sophisticated rivalry, but it's the it's the rivalry we're going with. It's uh Jillian and Rachel against Jenny Cash and Christy Ricci. Okay, so Jenny Cash, I'm going to have win this match. And at ringside will be Rachel and uh, Christy Ricci. You know, let this, let this match happen. Solid eight minutes or so. And, uh... That can be my storytelling match as well. Mm. I would like one more match. What do I have going on? Who am I not using? Oh yeah, Police Academy. They're up against... I don't remember who I was going to do them up against. I'm done with the Douglas Watson. Um, uh, Titus stuff. They're not doing it for me anymore. You know what? I could... Turn you guys heel. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I'm going to turn you to heel. And I'm going to have you two. Up against. Um, that's the franchise, I guess. Yeah, let's have it be the franchise. Sounds good to me. And after that match, I want an angle where it's Conrad Tanner, Dino Carter, Shane Hollister, Carter Gray, and Sid Justice. And Sid basically, like, screams at Tanner and Carter, and he's like, you gotta, you gotta get better, you know? You gotta get your shit in shape. Like, how are you losing to them? How are you losing so much? How'd you lose your titles? Be more like Police Academy. Be less like yourself. And and they are not liking that. So this is going on the last. This Nash stuff can go here. That's fine. Yeah, I like that. This I want to go early. Mm. This here. This here. This here. Here. Um, uh, maybe like this. Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, they didn't do great without a script, but it was still a good angle. Franchise defeats Lethal Weapon. They could do better. 
some angles, big angles, lots of angles. Jenny Cash defeats Jillian. Tamina promo. Bloodline match. Biggie calls out Nash. Biggie Nash match. It was actually fantastic. Wow. This is going to be their last match. And then the this angle. Parman Cannon defeat True Believers. True Bow Leavers, that is. That's great. 50. Very good. Very good. IWA Min South is bankrupt. AJ Lee is too small. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to sim and I will be right back. All right, I am back. Who are War Kittens? Becky Bayless and Jessica Havoc. That sounds like an awesome team. Okay. Big win for Go Shizaki. Has he won the G1 Climax? Holy shit, good for you, man. That's awesome. How are your matches going? 82, good for you, good for you. Very nice. I'm I'm very happy for him. Uh Jenny Cash has extended her deal. Interesting, interesting. They like her. 
How are my other contracts going? Right, Goose Mahoney. I wonder if they're going to uh, extend him because he's a ref. That'll be interesting to see. I don't know. Kevin Nash has one more show with me. One more match. One more match. Give me, give me Eddie Kingston and, uh, Eddie Kingston and Sage Beckett? Yeah, give me Eddie Kingston and Sage Beckett, just for fun. Now, another company has gone out of business. Doesn't look like I really got anyone from them, though. Or did I? I don't see anyone, now. <laughs> I feel like I gotta just hire Shane Sewell. Like, he's such a good ref. I mean, come on. Did this refing get better? Holy shit. I gotta hire him. I gotta, like, actually hire him. Like, wow. And then... I mean, Eugene put on a, a great performance last last show, but I can't hire him, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Jimmy Rave put on a good performance, I if I recall correctly. Actually, who do I even want on this show? Hold on. Um, okay, 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 that's fine. So Jerry Sags has now retired, but <laughs> Brian Knob Solo is here, of course. Let's grab Brian Knob Solo. Yeah, and I want to do them versus the Believers. Um, by them, I mean Brian Knobs and... Who was the other one? Not Shane Sewell, the other one. Jimmy Rave, right? You know, the greatest tag team ever, Jimmy Raven, Brian Knobs. And uh, Derek Bateman is going to win that by pinning Brian Knobs. And I want Big E versus Shane Sewell. And a five count match, and uh, Biggie will win that very handily. And I want a women's match, so who are my women I haven't used recently? Carwin and Nexana. Okay, yeah. I'll do Carwin and Nexana against Christina Von Eri. And Santana Garrett. It's Exana and Carwin. It's good. And I'll have Carwin pin uh, Christina. And, oh, oh, I almost clicked start show. <laughs> that would be 
26 minutes. I would like nine minutes of promos. That's perfect. Okay. So, Shane Sewell answers five count challenge. Throw Shane Sewell in there. Uh, throw Biggie in there and throw King Kong Bundy in there. Menace Entertainment Overness. And the main event can be Biggie Sewell, I guess. And throw this here. And I want a Believers promo. A Frisco Derek Bateman. For three minutes. And I want an Exana Carwin promo for three minutes as well. Help everyone's skills out. Great, great. And I'm I'm definitely gonna hire Shane Sewell as a ref. <laughs> Alright, that's that's good. They did pretty well, actually. They did not do pretty well. And that was solid. Okay. Biggie's getting a lot better. He is. It's, it's nice to see. So, actually, I'm going to do Kevin Nash versus Eddie Kingston. And I gotta have Eddie Kingston dominate in fucking five minutes for the the title. I know you're unhappy, Nash, I know. But what if I gave you WWE's money? Would you then be very happy? Right, I'm making money for them. I, I I can give you bonuses. That's fine. It's very nice. Very nice. And I'm going to have Kingston continues to beat down Nash. Param and Cannon save him. And, uh, Eddie Kingston. So, Eddie Kingston will be menace. You'll be fighting and you'll be selling. It's good. I know, putting Nash on selling is risky. I know, I know, I know. And that will be Nash's retirement match. And I want a trios match. I want it to be the Wyatts. Were they in a show, a match last week? No, they were not. So I want the Wyatts against the Pimps. Yeah, yeah, which I've I've done, but I'm doing it again. And the winners will be the Wyatts. Eric Rowan pinning Camacho after outside interference from Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce. And I did the other one, this one. Yeah, so this will be Bloodline versus Wyatt's for the titles, which actually is a great uh is great for this because um Uso's Wyatt's or I guess not, but I thought I did Uso's Wyatt's for this title, but I guess not. Well, either way, Usos Wyatt's was like Usos first feud, so I think that's a nice way to bring that full circle.
right? Like, I definitely did that early. Yeah, February. And then it was their first feud going into a rival at the first pay-per-view. Yeah. I did do a lot of that. And as you can see, everyone has improved a good deal since then. Okay, okay, okay. What else was I doing? Um, right, the lethal weapon stuff, right. How are lethal weapon doing? Both very warm momentum. Okay, okay. I want Tommy Goon, this Tommy Goon, to beat them. Let's have Tommy Gray be the winner. And they're not even going to cheat. They're not going to cheat. They're just going to win. And again, I want a segment where they're backstage and, and Sid is kind of getting on them for it. And being like, you guys need to get better. What are you doing? You know, shape your shit up. Get in line. This can be my storytelling match. I haven't been using gender in a while, so I'd like to use gender for something. Give me gender to Mina. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And gender's gonna win after an outside interference from Brad Attitude. But Tamina's gonna get look real strong before that, and she's gonna lock him in the the Samoan stretch and Brad attitude will uh, interfere a little bit and uh, b break that. Uh, give me Christy Ricci versus Rachel Lynn. I've done once before. I'm going to do again. This time Christy Ricci pulls out the win. Jillian and Jenny Cash will be at ringside. This can be like a quick match. Just just um, honorable story kind of going on there. Rather than some of the bullshit these other people are doing. AJ Lee is fighting Brooke, right? And Sage is, um, she, she won't be injured next week, which is good. I want Queen Brooke versus Maxine Perez. I think, I think that'll work. And I want... Game Maxine gets the win by by cheating, by AJ interfering. Or no, not even by AJ interfering, but by, by Sage interfering. Yeah, yeah. So there's some sort of like pact between these people. And I'm doing a very match heavy show. Because I feel like it fits, but I'll add some good angles as well. I want to do a Bloodline promo talking about winning the Trios Championships and being the first Trios Champion. After Usos have already been the first Tag Team Champions, they want to be the first Trios Champions as well. 
Where's Rikishi? Is he working somewhere else tonight? Oh my god, he has other priorities, damn you, Rikishi, damn you. That's fine. That's That angle will still happen, Rikishi just won't be there. Uh, I was doing Chris Logan Steamboat. Which... I want Steamboat to have a talk with Skinner. I want Steamboat to try to talk some sense into him and tell him who he is. And I want Chris Logan to run in and attack him. And that'll be a minor... Minor defeat for Steamboat and a minor success for you, and I guess by extension, you. And I also want what else do I have going on? Oh, I want you here. It's Tommy Gray and Tommy Mercer, and that ringside should be Tommy Taylor. Right. Percy Watson and Titus O'Neill. Naomi. Okay, okay. I don't need to use them. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, I do. I want Shane Douglas... Percy Watson and Titus O'Neil to cut a promo and be like, why are we not included in this trios title tournament? We should be the trios champion. We're the franchise. So that's going to be what that is. Okay. I can put this like up here. Uh, this should be here. That's good. This can be here. This can be here, throw this up here, this over here, this right here. I want to start with the Tommy Goon angle, or match I mean. Yeah, I like this. I like this show. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Tommy Goon defeated with the weapon. Tommy Mercer put in a great performance as well. Uh, again, Sid is really beating them down, telling them to get in shape and get better. Jinder defeats Tamina. It's pretty solid, I'd say. 47, I'm happy with that. Hopefully this also improves Tamina by working with uh, better talents now. Bloodline Angle. Maxine defeats Brooke. Skinner Angle. Rosebuds versus Wyatt's. Uh, Poppy Sanchez doing great as always. 45, that's pretty good. Franchise promo. Richie defeats Rachel. That's fine, really. All things considered, it's fine. Kingston defeats Nash, which, holy shit, it sucked. I really, really wanted that to do better. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so that wasn't wasn't a great show, but it happens. It happens. Not every show can be a winner. I had some good matches on the undercard, but I really wanted Kingston Nash to be better. Okay, Goose Mahoney is getting a contract extension. I'm gonna offer Shane Stool Shane Sewell a contract as well. Which, of course, is, of course, putting another Shane on my roster.
Okay. Handshake ongoing. Yeah, that's perfect. You want more merch? You're not allowing more merch. Financial is good. 250? No, 220. That's the, that works. Fuck yeah. All right. So Shane Sewell is joining the company. Mostly as a ref, but I could also use him as a wrestler, kind of like Rikishi. How, uh, actually, hold on. Let me. Kevin Nash, I know you're upset. Oh, you're losing. You're, you're hired to pass the torch. You're retiring. What do you expect? You know, you're done. That was all your matches. You're done. Like, come on, man. Come on. Shane Sewell has officially signed on. And, I mean, as much as I, I would love to do a Shane staple, <laughs> Shane's too busy with this. Shane Hollister, that is. Shane Douglas could easily sign on to that, though. And I would like you to be a heel, I think. And your gimmick would be referee. You can't really do any good gimmicks, huh? So let's just say that's a standard gimmick. You're a heel ref. And you'll mostly just be working as a ref because holy shit, your ref skill is so good. Right, Goose Mahoney is getting an extension. And no other contracts will expire for a bit. Other than, like, Nash, obviously. Um, I'm going to be able to hire Psychopaths in 10 days, which is nice, because I can hire that one jobber. The new Jack jobber. Finally. Wow, Nikki Storm. Hello, Nikki Storm. Davy Richards, Davy Richards. Looking good, Davy. I don't know who this is. <laughs> is this a real person? I guess it probably is, yeah. I just don't know him. Okay. Jeff Hardy's got a new catchphrase. Shinsuke Nakamura's been injured for a few days. That's fine, that's fine. Kevin Nash has officially retired. Looks like he's just going to be active as a personality now. How is he on commentary? Not great. Okay, fair enough. Sage Beckett has recovered from her injury. So I guess I'll just let Nash's contract run out after this. I don't really need him anymore. Uh, Chrissy Vane will be back in six months. I, it's just such a bizarre signing. Signing WWE signing somebody I can't use for a year. Like, you don't want to wait to maybe sign her in a year when maybe she could be useful. 
Like, no? Okay, fine. That's fine. You don't have to. <laughs> I want... Give me Shane Douglas and the franchise against Roman Reigns and the Usos. Which I've done a ton. Is it going to be a penalty? Oh wait, this is level up. Well, I might as well check. Is it going to be a penalty? Okay, it's not. That's good. Uh, so that's not what I'm doing, but that will be what I'm doing soon. Shane Sewell, uh, going to become a referee. Rikishi's actually available today. Naomi is here as well. Mm. How's everyone doing? They all got good momentum other than Sage Beckett. Carwin's a bit neutral. Let's do a bit of a three on three, maybe? Carwin, Oksana, and Beckett? Against Julian, Rachel, and Naomi. You know, vary things up a little while giving everyone a chance to get some experience. And the win should go to, I guess, Beckett. Beckett should get the win over Naomi. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Um, just checking some things out. Okay, okay, okay. Who am I not using? Oh, definitely Big E. I want a Big E match. I mean, then Big E Bull Buchanan. Yes, I have. What are you doing? Brian Christopher. Yeah, let's do Brian Christopher. Uh, Grandmaster Sexay answers the five count challenge. We'll have Biggie, Bundy, and Sexay. And then a quick match between the two where Biggie dominates. Give me a promo for, uh, give me, give me, no, give me Exana, Carwin, and Sage, yeah, they're gonna get the promo, or hell, no, I'm gonna do a segment with all of them, give me a segment, Jillian, Rachel, Naomi, and then, Throw in Brooke. And uh, Maxine. AJ won't be there. Everyone else will. That'll be like a five minute angle. And I want one more match. Who am I not really using? Oh, 
I'm using everyone a little bit, at least. <laughs> Just thinking a little. I guess. I guess the believers. I could do the believers, like against um, Shane Chase, and uh, Gilbert Dale. And have it be Wes Briscoe and Derek Bateman against Gilbert Dale and Shane Chase. Yet another Shane on the roster. Give that rough job to the Shane as well. And uh, Derek Bateman could get that win over whoever, I don't care. And I'll, I'll give this segment another minute. Yeah, that's that's good. That's the show. Uh, that's the Biggie storyline, the Biggie match. Biggie gets the win. That happens. Exana sprained her ankle. And the Believers beat Dale and Chase, who did awful. But the Believers did okay. So, how are you, Exana? Okay, you're just out for a week. That's fine. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. What's your issue, Naomi? What's your issue? Oh, you, 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 you did, you injured her? Here's some money for injuring her. Um. Uh... Your safety's pretty high. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. You got good safety though, so I don't. I don't really blame you. So now I can do this, where it's uh, Shane Douglas, Percy Watson, Titus O'Neil against Roman Reigns and the Usos. Um, Jimmy Uso win this by pinning Shane Douglas. I'm assuming this can't even be 10 minutes. <laughs> so lame. I guess it'll be 6 minutes. I mean, come on. He can't wrestle a 10 minute 6 man tag. He doesn't have to be in for very long. Stamina 19. His stamina is going down and down and down. It's so bad. His safety's only going up. <laughs> his technical's going up. It's it's interesting to see which which skills are going up and which are going down because his pure is going up too. His base, his brawling's going down. Very interesting. His color is 78. That's that's really not bad. It's really not bad. Uh... Okay, okay. I had Kingston beat Nash. That's right. That's right. Which has retired him for now. Uh, Kingston's popularity is doing great. I do feel like he's going to get called up. I haven't had a call up in so long. But I, I do feel like mm. it's going to be him. Which is fine. I mean, it makes sense. He's he's amazing. Uh, 
auf. Right, Sage Beckett. I was going to do Sage Beckett versus Queen Brooke. And I'm going to give Sage Beckett the win by cheating. It's going to be a bit of a storytelling match as well. And I'm going to have an angle about that where AJ and Maxine, you know, congratulate Sage on her win and Brooke is like screaming at them. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, that that's my win. Damn it. Screw you. Uh, can I fix her gimmick yet? No, I can't. Okay. I do want to fix her gimmick though. So that happens. Uh, right, I'm doing attitude to Mina. So give me give me a match between the two. And I want Tamina to win it by count out. Where, um, eventually Brad Attitude's getting beat up and he's just like, fuck this, and runs away. And, and Tamina's like, boo, you know, to, well, Tamina's not like that, but you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty open, Tamina's doing most of it, but it's, it's pretty open, all things considered, before that happens. Okay, okay. I want. Give me lethal weapon against. Give me a face tag team, like. Give me the believers, yeah. And I'm gonna have Tanner pin Bateman by cheating. And this will be the turn of both of them. Uh, so Conrad Tanner on Derek Bateman and Wes Briscoe. Dino Carter on Wes Briscoe. And after that match... Sid's gonna scream at them again, like more than ever, though. He's gonna be like, What the hell? You've turned against everything. You know, who are you? And Gray and Hollister are gonna attack Sid, or Tanner and Carter are gonna attack Sid, and Gray and Hollister are gonna pull them off and be like, What the hell is wrong with you? I guess that'll all be entertainment because they're not just fighting. And I'm also going to go there and take them out of this stable. Because Tanner and Carter are no longer members. And the new deputies are Grain Hollister. They've gotten a promotion. Good for them. Good for them. Big, big force breakup. Uh, the Beckett angle goes here. That's fine. This can go down. Good. Uh, Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce. That's right. That's right. Okay. I'm going to do King Poppy Sanchez against Bo Dallas. And Bo Dallas is going to win by cheating, of course. Briley Pierce comes in at ringside. Will be Camacho and Leo Kruger.
And after that match, Bo Dallas and Pierce go into a rage and beat down Sanchez, El Camacho, and Kruger try to save. You know, big, big fight, big fight feel. Bo Dallas, Bradley Pierce, Leo Kruger, Camacho, King Poppy Sanchez. It's good. And then... Um, right, right, okay. Give me Cannon and Parham against Kingston and Logan. And, uh... Logan's gonna beat Parham by cheating, by a manager interference. It's, a, it's again a heavy match, heavy show. I'm going to tone them down a little. I do want that one to be long, though. i make this one a little shorter. I want an angle where it's Chad Parham. Lucky Cannon, Eddie Kingston, uh, Chris Logan, Skinner, and Richie Steamboat. And basically, um, Steamboat saves everyone from a big beatdown, is how that goes. And, you know, that's good enough, right? Right? I think so. I think it is. Again, match heavy show, but that's fine. It happens. Bodas beats King Poppy Sanchez. That got a 52. That's very good. A uh, big angle involving that. Tamina Snuka beats Brad Attitude. That's a 45, which is very nice for them. Uh, lethal Weapon is turning. The turn was a success. The turn was a success. They both had good turns, which I'm happy about. And uh, that was solid. That fight happens. Sage Beckett defeats Brooke by cheating. Uh, they congratulate her. Bloodline versus Franchise. And Bloodline pick up the win. Kingston and Logan defeat Parham and Cannon. In a 56 by best match yet? Holy shit. Oh my god. I mean, that's all Kingston. That's all Kingston. Oh my god. Wow. Skip Sheffield resigning, Mike Kyoto resigning, Drew Galloway single. Okay, okay, okay. All right, next, next show, next show. It's kind of crazy. My best match ever. That is my best match ever, right? 56, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, best match ever. And uh, wow, these shows are really up there. As well. Eddie Kingston is peaking the product. 
He's really bringing it to the next level. It's very nice. Very nice to see. The rock is genuinely improving. Okay, and this will be the show. I feel like Kingston's going to get called up very shortly, which I can deal with. You know, he's he's been carrying the company. I've built him up very well. I think it only makes sense to call him up. But also, they haven't they haven't been calling up people for a while. Aksana and Naomi, I'd like to, you know, oh, strong dislike. No, I want to make them make up. I'm going to, I'm going to work on that for a while, I feel. I am. Um, okay. So, main event, Eddie Kingston versus Lucky Cannon. And the winner of that is going to be Eddie Kingston. I can go like like 16 or so. And after the match, Kingston, you know, continues to beat down Cannon and Param saves him. So that's going to be, I guess, menace, fighting, and selling. Hold on. Quick, quick BRB.
All right, all right, all right. Now, trios match. The Wyatt's won, right? Yeah, Wyatt's won that. So it's going to be Wyatt against Bloodline. And for the trios championships. And the winners will be the bloodline. Yeah, that's that's good. Cause I have a lot of trios. I'm gonna do Police Academy versus Lethal Weapon. For the tag titles. And the winners will be Police Academy. I'm going to do uh, Freedom Force versus Ho Train. And I'm going to give Ho Train the win. They will retain. I'm going to do AJ Lee versus Sage Beckett. And AJ Lee will retain um, due to Maxine helping her. Yeah, yeah. That will be for the Women's Championship. Uh, is that all my titles? I have six titles. One, two, oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, yeah, I have six titles. So the other one is Chris Logan versus Richie Steamboat. And Chris Logan wins that by... Uh, manager interference to retain his title. Okay, I want to order this a little differently. Maybe put this here, put this here, put this here. That looks good to me. Now... I want to do, uh, so I think I want to turn Camacho, actually, because he's better as a heel. I'm going to turn Camacho, and I'm going to do a handicap match. And it's going to be uh, Sweet Poppy Sanchez, King, King Poppy Sanchez, Camacho and Leo Kruger against Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce. And uh, the winners are going to be Bo Dallas and Briley Pierce after they're turned on by Camacho. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do um a turn where Camacho turns on them.
That's good. What else? What else? What else am I doing? Um. Oh, I want to make sure the main is Shane Sewell and Dusty Rhodes, so it's the best it can be. Then I want um Tamina versus Brad Attitude. And the winner of this one is going to be Brad Attitude by cheating. By cheating. For Tamina. I'm going to hire, buff the stuff, that's right, and do a five cap challenge with Buff Bagel and Biggie Langston, and uh, Biggie can dominate him a little. In like a six minute squash and do an angle buff bagwell answers the five count challenge all right that's good i'm gonna have to actually buff will cut a dueling promo there so that'll be more okay um just thinking a little bit I'm going to have Eddie Kingston be managed by Kevin Nash on this show, because I think that's funny. You know, just, just, just give Nash something to do. And uh, throw, throw Nash in this angle as well. Um, He'll be, he'll be menacing as well. He'll be part of that. Uh, how many women do I even have? Hold on, cause okay, yeah, I'll do a I'll do a tag match between them, cause I've done a little too much Maxine versus Brooks solo, so I'll do a little a little tag there. And uh, have on Naomi pin Maxine. I think that works. You know that doesn't have to be long. That can be like eight minutes. It's good. And then I don't have a lot of people left. How many how many heels versus faces? Just four faces. Okay, okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh this team versus this team. Just sort of flesh out the trio's division a little more. And I want uh, Tommy Taylor to get the win over Shane Douglas. You know, 10 minute match there. Nope, never mind. Five minute match there. And then.
Do I dare throw these people in a random six-man tag? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't make sense at all. I do think Rikishi having a match would be fun, though. Right, okay. I, I got it. Give me a Rikishi Shane Sewell match. Where Rikishi just wins in like five minutes, because that'd be fun. Just to put him on the show. And then the rest of the people can be in dark matches. Which would be. Uh, I guess I could have. Parham team with Bateman and Briscoe. And then do a Mahal match. So I'll sign. One face and three heels. You can be my face. Nope you can't be my face. <laughs> uh, I'll get, grab you as a heel you as a heel you as a face and um, I see you as a heel let's go for that yeah And then do Wes Briscoe, Derek Bateman, and Chad Parham against Andy Douglas, Chase Stevens, and Kevin Northcutt. And uh, give Briscoe the win on this one. And then a uh, Jimmy Ray Ginger Mahal match. Which, of course, Ginger Mahal will win. This one can go a little. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is the show. I've used everyone a little bit. I like it. I like it. Let's go for that. So this match happens in a dark match. Chad Parham did a great freaking job. Forty-five. Uh, this match, 44, they had great chemistry, and Jinder did a great job. Happy with that. Tommy Goon versus the franchise, not great. <laughs> not great. Rikishi defeated Shane Sewell, and Rikishi actually put in a great performance. That's just a match to show off Rikishi, really. Brooke and Naomi defeated Maxine and Penelope. Not great. Uh, Buff Bagwell answers the challenge. That's fine, I guess. True Bow Leavers defeat the Rosebuds. It's pretty good. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. Are you sure you wish to continue without addressing this? No. I want to address this. Turned in to go down well. That's fine. It doesn't have to go down well. Broad Attitude defeats Tamina Snuka. Uh, Police Academy defeats Lethal Weapon. That was pretty good, a 49. Oh, I forgot to take Sid off of managing them. That's my bad. Sid should not be managing them. AJ Lee defeats Sage Beckett. Uh, Bloodline defeats the Wyatt family in a pretty freaking good match. Roman Reigns and the Usos win the Trios Championships. Very nice. Roman's getting a lot better. Usos are getting better. Chris Logan defends his title against Richie Steamboat in a 51. Very good. They're both getting better as well. 
Uh, Ho Train defeats the Freedom Force. They're getting better as well. They are. They are. Uh, Christy Ricci doing a great job. I might have to turn her solo soon. Holy shit, my best match yet. Yet again, my best match yet. Eddie Kingston defends against Lucky Cannon in a 59. Oh my god. And that's all Eddie. I mean, Lucky did a good job too, but that's Eddie. Uh, penalized by stamina a little, so if I made it a little shorter, that could have been better. It's interesting. And a uh, big save there. Okay. So, Eddie Kingston praised for a great performance, and Lucky Cannon, you have to be praised as well. I mean, you got my best match. And, um, uh, I, I would say Richie Steamboat told that they're awesome. It's a very, very good show, clearly. A very, very good show. Yeah, okay. Eddie's not getting called up. For whatever reason, not that I'm complaining. I mean, he's carrying my company a little. Eddie, champion. Chris Logan, champion. Uh, Police Academy champions. Bloodline champions. AJ Lee, champion. And uh, Jillian and Rachel, champions. It's very nice. Very nice. And I gotta check this, of course. That's my best event. And my best match. I mean, come on. It's so good. Wow. And my best attendance as well. Anything else on that show reach top tier status? Uh, Chris Logan, Richie Steamboat did. That's that's great to see. I'm glad Richie Steamboat's putting on great matches. You know, good for him. Good for him. Very nice. Okay, okay. That's that's the video. That's the stream. I'm gonna sim like a day or two to see what's going on. But that's pretty much the stream. See if anybody crazy gets called up. End of the month. Oh my god! I got Cameron! You look so familiar! Who are you? You're Jason Jordan! That's right! Okay. Wow! So, Cameron, first Cameron Lynn, short name Cameron, and I want a good picture for you. Yeah, this one. That's good. Create an alter ego. And then Nathan? Or is he already in as um Jason Jordan? He is. Okay, okay. That's fun. We got two new guys to do something with. Two new two new workers. 
I'll sim another day to see if anything crazy happens. I'm very happy to get Cameron. I, I, I did really want her. She probably won't be very good, <laughs> but I'm happy to have her. Steve Kern has given me new goals. I uh, can't hire any high flyers. Well, whatever you say, I guess. Nixana has returned. Kevin Nash has entered the WWE Hall of Fame. Good for him. Good for him. You know, he'll he'll leave my company when his contract expires. Alright, that's that's the stream. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Goodbye.